CES. The Consumer Electronics Show, or CES, is one of the hottest events of the year. All the newest tech gadgets, products, and junk comes out at this time. And of course, new designs. I spent two days at CES, met a ton of people, and broke one camera lens to bring you this video on the top 10 best design products at CES 2024. <laughs> Starting off with Japanese super giant Honda, we have the Moto Compacto. Moto Compacto is a motorcycle scooter kind of thingy that folds up into a briefcase. Immediately stuck out to me at the show. It was a really unique shape and form. It's basically just like this cute box that you can sit on and ride around town. You can also customize the side of the box. My favorite is this little blue mountains with this orange sun. It's a totally unique form, at least something I've never seen for a motorcycle. Overall, it's just a really cute design. Coming up next, we have an air purifier coming out of Norway. The Renew air purifier from Air Things is a very minimal and frankly beautiful air purifier built for home and nice interiors. And to be honest, I think the pictures don't really do this thing justice. When I saw this at the show, I thought it was one of the best things that I had seen. It's just very nice and minimal. There's a great attention to detail. The colors and finishes are really well thought out. And it's a very subtle, a very humble, and a very well-crafted design. It's great to see a company that has the idea that when you want to put something in your home, it's not just about functionality, but it's also about beauty. Coming up next, we have the tabletop track lighting system from Necospace. This lighting system consists of a bar or a truss kind of thing that you mount onto a table that you can then attach lighting accessories to. They have globe lights and spotlights that you can attach, and I think they even have a little fan thing. When I saw this, I thought there was something very whimsical about it in a way. It was almost kind of this magical light bar that you could attach these little things to. There's no wires, it's very clean, and this anodized finish that they pick is also really nice. I'm not sure if I would specifically have the red version. I assume you can get different colors. No, it just comes in red, but they'll probably do another version soon. Overall, a really nice combination of some very nice engineering wrapped up in a very nice design box. This is also a nice highlight of the calm, subtle, humble style that's kind of coming out of China right now, which can also go the other way. And speaking of going the other way, we have the next design, which is a very loud, eye-catching, popping, bling bling, the intelligent cleaning station from 3i is at face value, a vacuum robot docking station. When I talked to the people at the booth, they told me that this station not only cleans your robot vacuum cleaner, it also recycles the water from the robot vacuum cleaner and even pulls water out of the air. Overall, I think this is a nice contrast to our last design, which is a very subtle design of coming out of China. And this shows the very loud, wow, bling bling style coming out of China right now as well. It has this crazy loud light sculpture. Like I could not walk by this thing without looking at it at CES. And I think in the pictures, it doesn't really come across how eye catching this blue glowing light thing inside the black glasses. It's really loud, it's really wild and it really pops. So basically a mind blowing light sculpture with some pretty innovative technology. Speaking of Asia, we have another company coming out of Korea. I'm not sure if it's WI Robotics or WIR Robotics or Weir Robotics. Anyway, we have this ultra lightweight wearable mobility device, the WIM. This is a really nice lightweight assistive walking system that I think helps you walk more. At the show, they had people wearing the device and going up and down stairs. It also folds down to this compact little carrying case that you can kind of bring anywhere. It's always really cool to see assistive health tech coming in with a really nice design. It's clean, it's eye-catching, it pops, and overall, it just harmonizes all together and just really works. And it is designed by one of my favorite Korean studios, Bebop. Side note, I got to meet one of the founders of Bebop, Rich Park, at the show, and he doesn't know we're best friends, but we are. He's gonna hate it when he sees this video. Anywho, overbearing friendships aside, let's move on to the next design. 
which is from another big design company, Canon. Canon's Japanese, right? Yeah, it's Japanese, yeah. You know, there's a ton of cameras at the show. For the most part, they all look the same as the traditional camera body with the lens mount attachment. That's why I really like seeing the Canon PowerShot V10. It's an extremely mobile vlogging camera that you can kind of just hold in one hand. It's got this display that flips up. Not only is this a very practical design, but it's also just very well crafted. It's a small little black product with very nice attention to detail. There's also just something very cute about it and just looks like a little little buddy that you'd want to go get some ice cream with and go explore the caves or whatever. So overall, classic camera styling features, very, very well done and a very innovative and cute looking package. Coming up next, we have a design coming out of France with one of the best health tech companies out there, Withings. The BMO is what Withings call a revolutionary health checkup system. So I think they took a bunch of normal health tech things like body temperature, stethoscope, ECG, and blood oxygen level and kind of jammed them all together in a nice little box. It's just a simple white box with some nice details on it. Overall, it follows this like extruded pill-shaped theme. And they even have this really nice kind of display on it that shows different things. So a very nice, subtle, calm, clean design from French company Withings. They're really one of the pioneers of taking health products and putting them in very nice packages and making very nice objects out of them. When you have products designed this nice, it makes me want to be healthy. Coming up next, 3D printing accessories from company Formlabs, specifically the Wash L and Cure L. The QRL basically looks like the world's nicest design microwave. It's very clean. It's very minimal. The interface is clear. And overall, there's a very nice attention to detail. When I walked by this at the show, this just really stuck out to me as a very well-crafted product. The color choice is just great. There's this nice light gray contrasting with this dark gray. Even details like the textures and the surfaces are very well done on this product. It's really nice to see a company taking objects like 3D printers and taking it up a level in the design department. Overall, great products, great objects that make me want to 3D print more. Coming up next, we have probably one of the most hyped objects at CES, the Rabbit by R1. No, the R1 by Rabbit. You know, I almost didn't put this in this video because it's so extremely hyped right now, but it's really hard to say no from any design coming from Swedish design company, Teenage Engineering. The R1 is an AI box thingy that does, you know, I don't know, it does some AI stuff, but uh, overall the design's very nice. There's something about Teenage Engineering designs where they do things very simple, but I think they just get the proportions so great that it whatever they do looks amazing. One thing to knock this off is I think I saw it in a display case in CES, and I don't know if this was a prototype, but the finish looked very plasticky and cheap on it. Also this color choice, this thing just pops. This was meant to be thumbnail clickable. So overall, some uh, hype text that we'll see if uh, this continues. Coming in last but not least, maybe even my favorite design from CES. Coming out of Belgium, we have the smart mailbox, the Custo one by Custo. This thing is a monolithic smart mailbox that you put in front of your house so all your neighbors can see how much better you are than them. Overall, it's mostly just a black metal box. It's clean, it's minimal, the proportions are great. I would go so far to say that the details on this thing are perfect. Even the little details like the matte dark gray of the box contrasting with the black of the glass and the screen and just how there's this little light in the screen that follows the form of the glass. This is a nice monolithic style I think you see in Belgium a lot, especially with architecture. And overall, Belgium is one of those countries that's really underrated design. So besides the waffles and French fries and European Parliament, design is where it's at in Belgium. Those are the top 10 designs I saw at CES this year. I even made a LinkedIn post with this where I post even more designs. Hope you enjoyed watching some great things. I have the trends video coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that. And we'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.